everyone, it's Yayuna and my friend Brentor. And today we are on our way to Emerald City Shakedown in Springfield, Oregon. So today we're going to another car show. Yay! So be ready. And there will also be a pinup contest, which Miss Brenda will be in. Brenda also has her own channel called Life's About Adventures. I will put the link below so you can check her out. Brenda's channel is fairly new. She does pinup stuff. She does homesteading stuff. She works on vehicles with her husband. She goes camping, all kinds of adventures. So make sure to check her out. our pageant synopsis. This is what everybody sees when they're looking at doing an application. We've encouraged people who are interested in next year uh, where they need to go and what's expected of them. The other thing that we do with our pageant is we created a portion for the gals who may not really be interested in competing against each other but may have you know a civic heart and that is the fundraising element. What do we call that? It is our most charitable. And the goal is that we're raising funds for the many miles to home dog rescue, which is wonderful. So the whole pageant, the car show, everything we're doing here today is essentially a fundraiser for those puppies. That's the one. So this is a cool part because the girls, they can go out and they can interact with people that are here to enjoy the car show and ask for donations and then come and put those in here. And this is a layerable crown. So if they win the Miss Charitable, they can also win one of these. Runner up, queen of the car show. Exactly. But this is Becky's part. She really prides herself in creating a gift that oh, people would be goodness. excited to win. Each of these, do you want to tell them about the winners? So our winners, we have our Miss Congeniality. This is the person that has the larger than life personality that really stands out to the crowd, to our judges, as ma'am, I would love to go to dinner with this girl every night of this week. We also have our Queen of the Car Show. She encompasses everything about a pinup. The poise, the outfit, the makeup. She's the poster girl. She's the best representation of what we think a pinup pal would be. We also have our first runner up. When you're just sitting there going, boy, there are too many good ladies and there's that one thing that sets one apart but another lady that you don't want to miss out on representing. We have our first runner up. And that first runner up is also responsible. She has a job. Yes. Um, our Queen of the Car Shows, we asked to 
return the following year to crown our next queen as well as participate as one of our judges. Lastly, we do have our little ladies here. This year that um, category is ages 10 to 17, and that's for our aspiring pinups. The best way that you can encourage something to live on is to bring in the younger generation. Thank you so much for taking the time to come out to Springfield and enjoy our pageant. We hope to be here many years to come and bring pageants all over the Pacific Northwest. Thank you. Thank you. Billy, I am a pinup competi competitor this year and I'm also into burlesque. Uh, I've been performing for almost two and a half years now. Uh, Miss Pepper G was my big inspiration. She uh, came to one of my dance classes because I've been a dancer since I was eight years old. And uh, getting involved with her, she made me feel like I could really trust her and lean into loving myself and learning to love myself as I am today and not what I could be in the future. Yes. So going to her, my first burlesque class was incredible and she was the first person I performed with uh, at her show and it was one of the biggest shows that we've had even to date where we sold out all the tickets. We performed on a makeshift table which was a pool table that had a lid on the very top and it was incredible. It was an old style bar so you got on the table and you could see far back and it was really cool. Um, I encourage others to keep trying into burlesque. It doesn't matter what shape, size, color, any of it. Nothing matters as long as you're happy with yourself and coming as you are and it's embracing yourself. Wonderful, wonderful. Do you have any words of wisdom and for any inspiring pinup girls? Just do it. Just try it. It's, it you never know what's going to happen. It could open a door for you you never even knew about. <laughs> this is Alex. I also perform with her. Hi, Alex. And I love her outfit. Is she beautiful? Yes, it's gorgeous. Very. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. You guys look beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with many miles to home dog rescue. We're located in Benita, Oregon. Our sole purpose is to rescue as many dogs as we can. We do focus on our bully breeds, but we do have some mixes that we also bring in. Um, a lot of the dogs that we take in are from overbreeding, they get dumped at shelters, they get abandoned on the side of the road. It's really, really just a passion project for us. We take the time to really socialize the older dogs that we get in, but we get mamas that are pregnant and we get them in and we get them in a relaxed environment for them to have their puppies and then we help get them uh, taking care of those puppies, allowing them to nurse them until they're ready to be weaned and then we bring mamas over to the rescue to work to get them adopted. So many dogs out there looking for forever home so all of our dogs before they go are going to be spayed or neutered. We also make sure that they are fully vaccinated or microchipped. And then we ask for an adoption fee to help cover some of those costs. We're always looking for adoption you know but also we do fundraisers like this great event here that's being put on for us. Um, we all absolutely love them. We do what we can to help, you know, encourage people to foster, adopt, and love these babies out there. Thank you so much. And then this is how you can get a hold of them right here. There's the phone number. They are on Instagram and Facebook. So if you're in this area, or even if you're across the country and you're looking to adopt and help out, please contact them. Um, so she's, she's what we call an alumni. We got some older ones over here. So the bigger ones are eight months and the little one over there is four months. You're so cute. Together had a lot of fun matching our outfits, 
awesome. Thank you. Day when we're going to be bringing these pinups on for a couple of our judges. If you can come up to the stage, you can see that we have an area here in front of the stage so you can see these pinups. We have our one of our judges. Thank you so much for being here, the Lou Harlow. She's a crooner and a dancer and a magical person. Thank you so much for being here. How do you be a part of this pageant? Great question. You can actually follow our Facebook group for more information. That's the Emerald City Shakedown Pinup Pageant. Thank you so much, Lava Lamour, for being our wonderful judge. I'm so ready. So I have the girls lined up adult to youngest but what do you think should we start with the littles because they are awfully cute so the first little lady i'm bringing to the stage is miss june bug all right miss june bug i hope you've had some fun thinking about some interesting answers so my big question for you is if you were a color what would you taste or smell like i would be green and smell like a menthol Mint. Oh my gosh, that's a fantastic answer. I love it. Tell me, what's your favorite way to have mint? In ice cream. Ice cream, mint, ice cream, mint chips. This is ages 10 to 17 because much like the car community or any type of community that you want to keep going, you have to include the younger generation. That's how things stay alive and thrive. I'm going to bring up Miss Luna Lou like to enjoy a storybook or do you prefer to watch a movie? Personally, I like watching movies because they have different story pers <laughs> Yeah. Um, tell me, what is your favorite movie that you've seen recently? Recently, I like watching Harry Potter movies. We have Lacey coming to the stage. Come on up, Lacey. Hello, Lacey. You look gorgeous. You had a lovely time considering your answer. So tell me, I wanted to know, what do you find is a quality in a true friend? Um, personally, I think a quality and a true friend is being loyal to, like, loyal to your friends and always remembering to keep them in the picture and never really pushing them away whenever things get hard. That is nice. amazing. You are a true friend for that. You strike a beautiful pose for us. I know that you guys are wondering about our weird questions. We didn't want to just give people free reign. We wanted to kind of see what's in their brains. That's why we asked these weird questions. The Buxom Billy. What is the strangest thing you believed as a child? The strangest thing I believed as a child is that I, eventually I would learn how to speak to animals English. <laughs> and I just kept waiting, and I just kept waiting. And then by the time I was about 12 years old, I realized I did not get that superpower. <laughs> can you strike us one more pose so we can see how, yep, there it is. Thank you. This is Flora Red. Yeah. About the outfit so far is you guys are actually getting to see quite a lot of dynamics. Are you ready for your question? Um, if you could uninvent one invention, what would that be? You know what? That was the hardest question, I think, on that sheet. And I really contemplated, and honestly, I think TVs, honestly, because you would do fine with radio. You get everything you need, news, music everything. I just think people spend too much time indoors watching TV. Yep. I completely get that and I love that. Thank you. Can you strike us one more gorgeous pose before you get out of here? Oh. Age Frankie right. Jasmine. Was it last year or the year before? But you brought a purse that looked like a phone and it actually worked. I love that. Now this year you are bringing okay. a cupcake purse which matches your cupcake dress and your cupcake vibe. You look stunning. I love this one. If you came with a warning label attached, what would that warning label say? Dangerous curves ahead. <laughs> Dangerous curves ahead! Yes! I love a sassy lady. I'm going to ask for one more pose. Even though you swirled for me, you look incredible. I love it. Gorgeous. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Stunning, gorgeous yellow. We have Jay Ash. What is one talent? you wish that you had. I'm pretty talented. I do a lot of stuff, but I wish I could juggle. Juggling seems like it would be so much fun. Wait, so you're a Jill of all trades, right? So you could juggle, then you'd be the best, right? I would be pretty awesome. I think you're pretty awesome. Can we get one more pose out of you? You look incredible. Thank you so much, Jay Ash, bringing to the stage Katana. 
Anna DeVille. Absolutely incredible. And this stole that you're wearing, I need to bring attention to the fact that it has a face. It has a cute little mouth and cute little eyes. Okay, what is the strangest thing you believed as a child? I think the strangest thing I believed as a child, me and my partner were trying to figure this out earlier, and I believed a lot of strange things. I was a little strange kid, but personally, I think the most strange thing is that you're taught that God is a man when God is clearly a woman. Oh, you look stunning. Yeah, Lady Jade. Are you having a good day? And did you bring a little lady to compete this time? I love that. So just like Becky was saying earlier, we like to start young. We like to bring these ten ups up generationally. So thank you for bringing her. And you could uninvent one invention. What would that be and why? So this is really tricky. I don't know that I would necessarily uninvent anything because even things that are bad or unimportant and kind of not necessary, um, I think have spurred really good and beautiful and necessary things. So I would kind of not necessarily uninvent anything, I don't think. You look absolutely stunning. Can we get one more pose from you? There she is. Time. I'm going to pass off the mic to Crimson Fury. Some of these participants are returning participants. And I tell you what, to be able to show stage not just once, but multiple years with these women is phenomenal. It is such an honor. I've always wondered, because I know there's something under that refined exterior. If you came with a warning label, what would it say? My warning label would say, I may look sweet, but I'm a little bit spicy. <laughs> Could you please do one more pose for us? Check out this spicy little pepper. <laughs> and Lil B has the best accessory possible, which is Little Miss Liliana here. Oh, this little puppy is the cutest. I, I can't take it. Another one of my favorite returning participants. I have had the honor of watching this woman. I'm gonna cry. I watched her walk across the stage the first time she ever stepped on a stage. This is what this is about. It's about building your community and lifelong friendships. I am so honored to stand next to this woman up here. If there was one talent that you wish you had, what was it? If there was one talent, I really wish I could play guitar. I've tried, I can't, I don't think I have rhythm. <laughs> But I would love that. I would like to be more musically inclined. That's what I'm doing. Lil B, thank you for joining me again on the stage. And please strike one more pose for us. And just for a moment, for the people who don't understand pinup, and this is their first pinup event, they might think that it's just a bunch of pretty girls just dressing cute and getting up and parading around. But I want to draw attention that we are all you. We are your mothers, sisters, lovers, kids. And we all go through things. So there are people up here that are dealing with cancer. They're dealing with the, the loss of loved ones. They're going through a lot of things. And that's the camaraderie that Becky's talking about. Even if you're going through it, if you're going through the hardest times of your life, you can still get dressed up with your friends, shake off the day, and come out and have a good time. Because under all of this, we're all just going through it just like you. So thank you. Miss Killer Queen. Heisty little kitty here. Look at her. What was the strangest thing you Kinda believed as a pages. child? Probably Age sound really strange to others, right? but not too much to me. But I didn't have any imaginary friends as a child, but I used to talk to my house. I had a very good friendship with my house, and I gave it a very nice hug and said goodbye when we moved away when Aww. I was five. Aww. All right, Miss Killer Queen, can you strike one more gorgeous pose for us? This gorgeous dame here is Miss Fit. And I'm curious if you could uninvent one invention, what would it be? You can't beat a nice cam, just rumba, 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 you know? <laughs> so we do, we want to hear them, we want to feel them, right? Oh, yes. All right. Can you give us one more pose, Miss Fit? Look at that little hip bounce and everything. I love it. But I am curious, what is one talent you wish you had? I wish that I could sing well. Because I sing all the time, uh, but I do not sing well. My <laughs> husband can attest to that. <laughs> but I would love to be the front person of like a cool punk rock girl band. Uh, but that'll never happen because I sound terrible. <laughs> all right, Vicky DeNovo, please strike another gorgeous pose for us. This is Vidya, another one of my... I'm just so honored. Again, somebody I get to share the stage with, and I have been delighted 
to watch you grow up on our stage as a pinup because I believe this was kind of how you cracked into the whole world, right? Yes, it is. Actually, I was here last year for the first time ever. Yes, and we did phenomenally. And I, I love this. This this shawl is adorable. I love it. If you had a warning me label, what would it say? Caution. Dark matter. <laughs> I love the swing dress on you. Can you give us a twirl? We're doing their jobs. They were harassing you for funds. And those funds are going to the puppies. Everything that we're doing today is for the puppies. But one of these exceptional gals raised way more money than the other exceptional gals. We have $115 raised. Put your hands together for Miss Killer Queen. Oh my gosh, and it matches. For those of you who don't understand our crowning process, you can layer this win. Purple pineapple bag. Please put your hands together for Little B. Oh, Brenda hey. won, you guys. Brenda, yay. Our next winner. This is the first run that would be Vicky DeNovo. Look at that crown. Big, it's falling off her head. Lava, that's a real queen. The statement about that, about crowns, queens fixing each other's crowns, it's so beautiful. Lastly, with this big mega crown and this gorgeous Lux DeVille handbag, the queen of this year's Emerald City Shakedown is Katana DeVille. Guess what, guys? Guess who won? How does it feel? Pretty cool. Yeah? It's fine. Definitely. It is. I'm not here to win. I'm here just to dress up and share that everybody has a pinup inside of them. And winning's just a little bonus, but um, I just love what I do. So yep. proud of you. Thank you. She did great. Yay. This is Yigna saying thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun. And I'll see you next time at the next car show or next event. Until then, be safe and know I love you. Bye. Bye.